Welcome back to another adventure. This one is called Sheep's Bridge. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to share this one with you guys. I do highly recommend running this with one direction and this direction. Uh, you'll see why in episode about two or three. But you basically circle around I think it's called Horse Thief Lake. No, not Horse Thief. But it's an awesome route with a lot of great views. The highest is 4,000 feet. Looks like the lowest is 1,080 feet, but there's not any really steep climbs or you know steep uphills or steep downhills. And then Horseshoe Reservoir is uh, the lake we will be going around. And yeah, it's an, a great loop. Um, this section in here where the cursor is, is mostly um, tarmac. So not all of the route is paved, but mo a good portion of it is. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. And let's get to the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another adventure. As you've seen in the overview area, we are going to try, I don't know if they're going to be successful, but we're going to try to head to the uh, Sheep's Bridge and uh, another popular waterfall spot. Uh, this is a pretty popular route, um, especially with motorcycles because you can see that Hopefully, if I make it all the way, the motorcycles can make this whole complete loop. Cars can't. I don't know if Jeeps can. I guess we're going to find out together. If you guys think this is a accessible Jeep off-road trail. <clears throat> it's windy today. This is the... Uh, middle to late February in Arizona so there might be some washes like this the mountains may have gotten snow already aired down. It was a nice asphalt twisty road to get here. Maybe I'll record some of that on the way out. So my goal with these videos is to show you the entire route, kind of like a trail reference videos. Um, I watch a lot of other motorcycle vloggers on YouTube and they'll do an adventure or a trail and they'll cut a lot of it out. Now I understand that sometimes there's boring parts like dirt road or who knows, maybe even this little bit of asphalt stretch. And in those boring parts, I may speed up the video, but I wanna show my viewers the entire trail. So if they're thinking about doing the trail, or if they're a beginner rider like I am, and they wanna see the entire trail to know okay that spot's too much or yeah I can do that I just like to show the entire trail so something like this that's gonna take some take a while I am gonna break it up into like you know probably around 30 minute episodes Let me know if you guys like 
the longer episodes, like the whole hour or however long it takes. Because if you do, then I'll take all the shorter episodes, edit them up into one hour long video and release it as kind of like a movie. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. This is National Forest Land. Um, it's just north of like the Cave Creek area, if I'm right. Um, if I'm wrong, future editing Scott will put some text on the screen. So far this is a nice dirt road, uh, maintained, graded. I like this kind of stuff. I really like the dirt roads. I could ride dirt roads forever. was telling me to turn right here but hold on guys let me check the route and get back to you all right guys we're back yeah i checked the maps and it was trying to take me away i uh didn't really want to go This is a pretty popular uh, off-road area for a lot of you know, ATVs side by side, so be careful on some of these roads if you enjoy high-speed dirt roads. And uh, we're probably going to cut back to a time lapse until we uh, get into something that's a little bit more slower and technical. So enjoy, guys.
water crossing. Check that out, guys. area. Maybe there's some camp spots off to my left. Some side by sides.
they're doing to the road. I don't know if they're like making more of a side bank. That's pretty interesting road maintenance. thing is that not awesome or what dirt road but still nothing if you're going slow nothing a Subaru can't handle I wouldn't call it Prius rated look at that that's some live action for you guys huh know that this far in is SUV rated. Looks like we got a Tahoe or a Suburban. Another Tahoe or Suburban. And we'll continue on.
Looks like some sort of a uh, ranch house, huh guys? Comment below if you could live in a place like that. So the road we are on is called Cave Creek Road or Seven Springs Road. I tried to look up information on this ranch on Google Maps. I could not find anything. The creek we're going to come to is called Ash Creek. It's like a little river bottom. We are currently an hour and five minutes or about 25 miles from civilization, which would be back in the town of Cave Creek. We are north of Cave Creek. Cave Creek was settled in 1870 by soldiers on horseback from Fort McDowell. In 1873, prospectors from the Bradshaw Mountains found gold in the town. The town is named for the cave next to the creek the town was founded on. The current population as of 2021 in Cave Creek is 5,015 people. The Cave Creek area spans 37 square miles. It's at about a 2,553 elevation. Cave Creek is one of the more expensive areas around the greater Phoenix area. The Verde River Sheep Bridge that we are on our way to, also known as the Red Point Sheep Bridge, is a suspension bridge which crosses the Verde River in Arizona, constructed primarily to allow sheep to be driven between grazing ranges on either side of the river. Building started in 1943 and was completed in 1944. The technical area for this bridge that we are trying to go to today is in Carefree, Arizona. Here's that ranch house. this area guys it's like we're on another planet neutral maybe I'll come explore that trail 602 it looks like it goes off that way one day that's just beautiful Got a cool little mound over there. Man, if you had an RC crawler, that would just be RC crawler heaven. Maybe I'll bring mine out here one day. Wait, wow, almost died.
This would be a cool little RC crawler trail. Alright guys, let's have a look over the edge.